Hey, Lemfam, what if you could get qualified leads for your marketing agency so you could skyrocket your growth? That's what we're gonna see in this video. One week ago, Gizem reached out to me saying that her marketing agency was doing great, but she wanted to understand new ways to grow and skyrocket the growth of her marketing agency. The process was actually quite funny because I asked Gizem if she could give me a bit more info about her business. The first thing was I write for companies, which to me, to be entirely honest, is a bit too broad. And then she mentioned, my target is B2B software companies. I'm open to other industries as well. However, I really enjoy where tech is going and like being a part of it using my own skills. What's really cool here is like, by definition, Gizem as her niche. She understands that she loves us, she loves technology, but you know, like any freelancer or anyone with a marketing agency was afraid to kind of lose new opportunities, she's saying that I'm open to other companies. The first thing I decided to do is to actually go on her website. And if you go onto her website, the tagline is very broad. Empower your business with good content. What you see from the tagline is actually the number one thing that she should change. So the tagline is very broad and we don't understand who is she helping and to achieve what. So the tagline should be as short and sharp as possible. What would you prefer? Empower your business with good content or something like I write articles for B2B SaaS companies in order to help them generate more leads. The second is much better than the first because obviously it's much more narrow. The more narrow you are, the more conversion you're gonna get. And on top of it, it's even easier to create your entire website around one specific niche in particular, especially when you start. Because the narrower you are, the better you will get and the more well-known you will become inside a specific industry. It's called the network effect. So when someone specializes on something and they get good recommendation from their customers, they will start getting even more people asking for the same service, which means that for you, you can do two things. One, either have just more clients and scale it that way, or two, ask for more money for the exact same service. What's missing for me on the website is a few things. The first thing is the testimonial. Gizem mentioned to me that the business was going well for the last eight to 10 months. So the first thing that I would do is to create testimonials or case studies. Ask your customers to give you a review so it can build even more social proof. Second thing is, as you can see, the website is a bit cold. Gizem is the one behind the marketing agency, so I would try to push it, you know, like personalize as much as possible your website, put yourself, put a photo of you, of your team, make it human. In the end, we do business with real persons and it's always great to be able to build a relationship and connect because the first thing you need to do is build trust. It's much more difficult to trust someone if you've never met them or never seen them. The more things you add on your website that can help build that trust, the more conversion you will get. Once the website has been redone, the thing I would focus on is also the LinkedIn profile. Here on Gizem, the bio is content writer, ghostwriter, digital marketing professional, executive editor at Pun content. For me, this is not niche enough. Your bio should explain exactly who you serve and what you help them achieve. For example, it could be, I help content team for B2B SaaS companies generating more leads with writing meaningful content. This would be very straightforward. And again, it will help you build better connection with other content writers and really grow your network. So now what would be my strategy to get more leads? It depends on several things. First, if from what Gizem told me, the business is going really well, which means that she already has customers. So the first thing I would do is ask for these testimonials. And once you see that people are really happy with your content and that they got awesome results, then ask for referrals. Do you know someone in your industry that might be benefiting for the articles I write, etc., etc.? Second thing that you could do if uh, you don't have enough clients or no clients at all is to actually reach out to other companies that are in your niche. So in that case, for Gizem, I would reach out to B2B SaaS companies to head of content or content writers, so people in the organization who have the decision making power to actually hire content writers and I would interview them. The goal of the interview would basically to talk about what is the decision making process when writing articles, how exactly do you write articles that are ranking with SEO. I will try basically to find a lot of topic around the specific skill of writing articles and making them rank with SEO 
so you can generate more traffic, more leads, and hence more revenue. So the more info you can get from those interviews, the better, because afterwards, those are the articles that you'll be able to publish on your blog. Make sure to interview the coolest company in B2B SaaS. That way, you actually create your network with awesome people, and for you, it's a great way to, one, create a network, to understand how other people are doing, which can give you ideas to improve how you're managing your work. And three, it will also create what we call the phenomena of association. It means that because the coolest brand you've interviewed, you are being seen with them, people will actually associate you with this brand and hence the trust will increase. More trust, more customers, more customers, more money. I hope this was helpful and that you will be able to skyrocket the growth of your marketing agency. Have an awesome day. See you soon. Peace.